<laughs> anyway, Rob, you know what today is? I do. What is today? Today's the start of spring practice. Spring practice, so it's like semi-football season, right? That's right. Well, so, there's football going on, so. Yeah, they're playing, they're practicing football. So. You see, most of our fans only have one season, and that's football Football season, season exactly. See, I have two. I have two seasons. There's golf season, <laughs> and then there's football. But really, isn't it always golf season? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, if you could play in the cold temperatures, if we lived, used to could. If, if we live somewhere where it was warm all the oh, time. Oh, yeah, we play all the time. All the time, yeah. So, but it's not golf season. It's spring football season. And Lincoln Riley had his spring football kickoff press conference yesterday. And let's talk about the big thing, I think, that everybody, well, the second biggest thing, or maybe it is the biggest thing. Which is bigger, in your opinion, Rob? Jalen Hurts and Tanner Mordecai or the defense? What do you mean, which is bigger? What, what's the bigger conversation? The bigger what? conversation right now is uh, Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts. Jalen okay. Hurts is a bigger conversation right now. So, Riley stated that there was a quarterback battle going on today. Well, or there would be. He said it last year, too, though. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure anybody really believes that there was a, a quarterback battle last year. Um, I don't think anybody right now believes there's a quarterback battle this year. Yeah. Well, some of the things he said Except was – Do what? Except, him. <laughs> Except J.D., who's sitting over here. Um, what Lincoln said yesterday was within these walls, he's just like any other player, which I agree with. They're probably you know yeah. treating him oh, the yeah. same way. Yeah. Uh, but he's in a battle, and he knows um, uh, he knows that he's in that battle. Right. Okay. Which well, probably I mean, so. I mean, that's <laughs> he's not wrong. Okay, because there is a battle. He didn't right. just get handed. Right. He's going to have to prove right. how good he is. And you know, obviously, he's going he's going to do that. He said that's just how we do things here. He knows he's going to have to earn it. Tanner knows he's going to have to earn it. Um, you feel a sense, he said there's a sense of urgency between the two. Absolutely. And that uh, both, this is what I like, both are inexperienced within this system. Oh, within this system. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Who's got the upper leg in that? Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, here, here's my thing, okay, is Tanner, you know, yeah, again, Tanner Mordecai was, I think, a three star quarterback coming out of Waco, Texas. But has Lincoln Riley picked a bad quarterback so far no okay so let's give tanner mordecai his props tanner mordecai has something that lincoln riley saw and thought he could exploit absolutely and exploit in a good way well and i think he's probably sitting back looking at it and saying you know what jalen's probably a, a physical he's a he's a beast obviously. no he's big but he he got beat out by a freshman yeah so what's to say that, tanner can do the same thing that that's something that i think that we really need to pay attention to as good as jalen hurts is he has been beaten out he's been beaten out to hit his I'll be starting it. position i'll be hit to it's a pretty good quarterback <laughs> i'm not gonna lie he's pretty good so but i think that we as sooner fans need to give tanner his props because he's not he's not a scrub nope Okay, if he was a scrub, he wouldn't be at He'd the be University. He'd be at OSU. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He'd be at OSU or maybe Texas. Maybe Texas. Which one is worse? Where, where would, I mean. Um, I think probably OSU's worse. Yeah, probably OSU's probably. worse. You know, yeah. They only have a 30,000 seat stadium. They're both ugly orange. Ugly orange. No, no, OSU's up to like 44,000. Oh, okay, 44,000. Yeah. So. I think Tulsa High School has like a 60,000. <laughs> Tulsa Union. Just FYI. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, you know, I, I honestly think, you know, there is a, I, it depends on how you you justify or you de you determine a battle. You know, are they trying to win a position? Yeah. So that's a battle. It would be no different. You know, if you you know if you're arm wrestling with your buddy, you're in a battle. Well, I feel like the the position belongs to Jalen Hurts. It belongs to him. But he's got to go out and prove that it does. Right. I mean, he's not just going to walk out and it's your job. Right. He's, he's got to you know he's got to so, do the things. That he needs to do. Here's something that I was thinking about today on the way home, or on the way to um, uh, Louis, right here on Campus Corner, is what is when does Lincoln announce a starter this year or the leading role? Because this is different than last year. Okay, because if you've got a new guy like Jalen in here, wouldn't it be better to say, or would it be better? to say this is our starter 
he's going to be at the Big 12 Media Day, da 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 da. You know, all these things planned out moving forward. Now, we all know that Spencer Rattler is going to get here in the fall or in the summer, right. and things may change, but he can't wait till next year to make this decision, do you think? Or no, to, no. to announce this decision? Well, and I think probably what happens behind closed doors may be a little bit different than what happens publicly. He may be telling them, all right, listen, guys. I don't want anybody to know who our starter is. Right. I'm going to say this. Right. But here's the deal. You know, Jalen, you're, right. you're the one. Tanner, you're the two. When Spencer gets here, he's the three. Right. I mean, I don't, we don't know what's going on behind closed doors. But uh, I, he doesn't benefit or or lose anything by not saying anything or by saying anything, Well, in my opinion. Well, unless he says something to the team, because here's my thinking on it is Jalen's the new guy. Yep. Okay. He's got experience. He's not from, you know, he's not from here, meaning that he's only been here three months, two months yeah. now, yeah. is to build, allow him that time to build the leadership abilities and that the team needs to follow this guy. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Absolutely. Last year, you know, it was, it was two guys that have been here. They've both been here a while. Yeah, they're both leaders, but now he's got a guy that's new. It's like, you know what? I need to announce a leader more than you need to announce a quarterback. Well, he probably doesn't even have to. Honestly, he probably doesn't have to announce that because that just happens. Yeah. That just happens in practice. Somebody steps forward. Somebody emerges as a leader on the team, and he doesn't have to say, oh, by the way, this is your leader. You right. Know, they, they know right. whether or not he's the leader or he's not. That's a good point. That's so. a good point. So... Us as fans, it really doesn't matter whether or not he announces it. Right. You know, and I think we all kind of got a, you know, inkling right now who the leader well, is. Probably. But there's no benefit, I think, for teams to know who it is, whether it's Tanner or Jalen, because they don't know how Jalen's going to handle this system. Right. You know. So. Who knows? But from from the reports I saw today, he was throwing dimes today. Oh, really? Yeah, so. Oh. I mean, he's physically a beast. Six foot two. How, when's the last six foot two quarterback we've had at Oklahoma? Uh, well, uh, Landry was six five, or maybe six six. Yeah, but he had the, you know, porn star mustache and that kind of, yeah. <laughs> And I think Bradford was like six three, yeah. six two, six three. Um, but. But could any of them run? None of them could run. I know Jason White used to be able to run. He could at one point until you know both knees blew out. And he'd, yeah, he'd, he's you know. probably six two. He's just yeah. He's just a touch taller than I am. I stood right next to him by the way. Yeah. Just <laughs> I have too. So, <laughs> but uh, let's move on to the defense because the defense is something that is on everybody's mind. Alex Grinch today coached the defense for the first time. So. The evaluation period has started. I know it's been going on, but true evaluation started today. Yeah. We are in drills. Okay. Um, and again, sorry, I'm blind. I have to look at my notes sometimes and hold them up. No, I'm good. <laughs> um, but uh, one of the things I liked what it, that Lincoln said was that Alex Grinch is um, – implementing the same philosophy that Lincoln Riley has on offense, which is you have to make teams play the game on your terms, which is what Lincoln Riley, everybody oh, knows, does on offense. Yeah, the defense has to change everything they do when they come to play Oklahoma. And I love that thought and that implementation of yeah. offenses are going to ha instead of us defending, offenses are going to have to become offensive to our defense going, we got to figure out how we can manipulate this defense. Well, for us, it's a, it's a proactive approach to right. defense, which I don't think we've, we're pretty much reactionary, right. or have been for a long time. Yeah. So a reactionary uh, approach to the defense, I think can do nothing but benefit us. Yeah, I mean, I mean, and it gives me, you know, I got goosebumps right now. You can't see them. I got goosebumps thinking about this, is if we have a defense that makes the offense react to what they do is better than a defense reacting to what an offense does. Yes. You know, instead, what 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 this tells me is that Grinch is building a defense that's going to make the offense go. Instead of we're going to do this and make them defend this, is we got to see what they're going to do and what we're going to be able to make work against what this guys yeah. what these guys do. Well, honestly, I'd love for a commentator to one time just say. Well, this offense is ha has to take advantage of the things that Oklahoma defense is giving them. Right. Because 
Last year we gave them whatever they wanted. <laughs> I mean, there was like no lock on the door. Exactly. We gave them everything. So uh, I, I would just like one time for them to say, you know, the defense is doing everything that it wants to do. And so that whoever we're playing, that offense has got to accept what we're giving them. Right. 